expected so far. Let's jump into it. So we launched our today's special well about an hour ago and already it is absolutely on fire. Why? Because it is truly the ultimate way to be able to cook. Let me kind of explain what's happening tonight. You know, there's a lot of pots and pans that are available out there, but nothing beats the versatility and the iconic style of using cast iron skillets until tonight. And what we've done is we've taken an absolute favorite in the Kitchen HQ line, a favorite in everyone's kitchen, and we've given it a dramatic makeover. It is the smart cast iron and what I love about this is it is all the benefits. Just the amazing food you can make using cast iron but listen to this none of the hassle whatsoever ever. So now you can do everything you love with cast iron but it doesn't have everything we hate about cast iron and it is our best value today. Let me show you the colors because they're amazing. We start off here with the white. Everything comes with a beautiful lid. We even have included a $12 set of silicone handles that match back to the cast iron itself. This is the pumpkin. All right, here we go. We've been talking about it all hour long. If you want the pumpkin, it is by far the most popular. This is a brand new color. Think of it as an exclusive. Hey, Angela, if you can help me out, how many do I now have left in the pumpkin? So we have 2,400. Guys, we'll be less than 2,000 by the end of this hour on the pumpkin. What does that mean? The show repeats itself all night long. This will not make it to the end of the day. There's gonna be thousands of people who literally will have no idea we had pumpkin because you're getting it here. All right, then we also have your classic black. This is always super popular. Love it, great gift color. We have red. Everybody loves the classic red as well. Then we have what's called the rose color, which is a great, really unique color. I have about 1,400 left there. The teal is beautiful and bright. I think it's really expensive and gorgeous looking. And then we also have the blue. As I mentioned, you get the silicone handles. These are a $12 value that we've included and this has been completely made over. So we've taken an absolute favorite. In fact, last time we did a cast iron today special a long time ago, you guys loved it. It sold out early, but we've made this one smarter and even better than ever before. And then look at that price. I mean, that's truly incredible. Well, Chef Shahir is with me. We love him. We're having uh, fun. He We're is the great, well. he's a great, I gotta give you, I gotta brag on you a little bit. <laughs> Not only is a great cookbook author, worked in some of the top restaurants in New York City and Toronto. He brings us to HQ. He's been on television, but he also is a graduate of the French Culinary Institute in New York City. Very prestigious, by the way. We love that. <laughs> uh, chef, let's just start with everything yeah. about this is a yes, because finally cast iron that makes sense. So why cast iron? Yeah. I showed off these two beautiful ribeyes for the perfect sear. Cast iron is perfect because it gets hot, stays hot. It retains heat. So when you talk about adding a cold steak to a pan or a cold piece of chicken, unless it's cast iron, the temperature of your pan gonna drop. Steel, aluminum, that's why you're not getting the perfect sear at home. With cast iron, it gets hot and it stays hot. But here's the kicker. I want you to see inside the bottom of my pan. I've seared those two ribeyes for about five, six minutes. Look at this. I mean, when I talk about nonstick, I really, truly mean Non-stick. So I've never seen a cast iron like this where when you're done cooking, you wipe it out and you're done. Old school cast iron, you can never do this. It's caked on there. You've got to season it with old layers of oil. They also make cast iron coated in enamel. They look great, but they're not non-stick and they get colored over time. They get kind of a gnarly brown color over time. This cast iron, you can wipe it out. It is spotless. And I just seared steaks in there for five, six minutes hard. Like, it's unbelievable. But here's the thing about heat retention as well. Look at this. I'm going to build the sauce now. It's still sizzling. It's still hot. So last hour when we talked about bringing something oven to table because they look so great, your food is also going to stay hot because it's in a cast iron. So it's about heat retention for cooking. It's nonstick, and it's also about keeping that food warm. And notice, too, chefs using metal utensils. Remember, yep. I said it's cast iron that's been completely made over. You don't have to baby it. The thing is, is my husband is a huge fan of cast iron. That man loves to cook. He loves to grill. He does all that kind of stuff. I am the least 
happy fan about cast iron traditionally. And the reason was it's because every time I went to reach for his cast iron pan, it literally would leave oily gunk on my hands. Yep. And I'd have to wash my hands even before we started cooking. I really didn't love it. I kept thinking, this is so gross. It just keeps getting more and more gross as we use it. <laughs> but that's what gives the cast iron its flavor and its taste and all that kind of good stuff. This is that perfect sweet spot. You get all those great benefits yep. that people rave about yep. cast iron, but absolutely none of the hassle or the mess. It's finally a cast iron that's smart and versatile chef i think that's what i love because as you're watching chef you're going to do everything from in the oven to baking this to we're going to sear braise i'm about to poach some eggs fry. we're going to roast we're going to fry <laughs> i mean we call it a brazer but a great cast iron will do it all you're going to sear poach braise everything i do want to emphasize how non-stick this is it's not just about easy cleanup here i've got some stock which was up to a boil right away and some sugary sticky teriyaki sauce non-stick. I'm not worried about cleanup. Metal utensils, no problem. And now what I'm gonna do for that ribeye, into my four and a half quarts of size, add some veggies to the stock and the teriyaki that's not sticking. And this is where we come up with the other item that I love, the lid. The fact that we add a lid that is totally airtight, totally sealable, that's what's gonna allow you to trap in the steam and to poach and to braise and to really get those techniques going as well. Now look, Right away, it kind of steams up because it's trapping in that steam. You have a little vent hole, which allows some of it to escape, but this kind of silicone exterior is that airtight lid. So we're gonna let that cook and steam in no time at all. And over here, my chicken thighs. Skin on mm. chicken, skin on fish. Nothing is sticking. And look at the even color. If you've ever seared a chicken thigh, or a steak, or a pork chop, and didn't get even browning like this, it's because you don't have the heat retention of cast iron. Right. When I say it gets hot and stays hot, I mean everywhere. You're not getting hot spots. With steel and aluminum, you get hot spots. If you've ever seared something at home and you got some parts that are brown and some part are gray and it's kind of steaming and not really perfect because it's not cast iron. Cast iron gets hot and stays hot all the way around. I got perfect results on my chicken. Perfectly seared steaks, pork chops, fish with no sticking and easy cleanup. I love that too. And here's what's kind of cool about this. Now, when we originally, Chef, I remember when you did this, yep. we offered, in fact, there's been three pans that are available right now. There's a 10-inch skillet, huge customer pick. In fact, there's 277 perfect five-star reviews on a skillet. Then they did this eight-inch, again, became a customer pick. It's online right now. We also have a five-quart, again, a customer pick. What they did, though, is the original skillet had one long handle, which was great. People still love it. They made it a customer pick. But on this one, we've really done some major changes. The first big one, quite frankly, is the handles are now what's called a loop handle. Yep. So now you've got these helper handles so you can really carry it easy. We, even when it's packed, we've got this beautiful casserole coming out, a mac and cheese. You can carry this to the table. You can move it around the kitchen very easily. The other thing I want to show you on mine is you are getting the silicone covers, which is great because obviously these handles are going to get hot. So now that you have these, you can have it on the stove and still operate and touch your cast iron without burning your, your fingers. While it's on the stove, the knob on this on the tempered glass lid with that silicone cover, that's actually cool. So that's awesome. Obviously, when you put it in the oven, that knob's going to get hot. But again, you've got the silicone handles to help with that. And on top of all of it, you have nonstick, not just on the inside, but chef, I love the fact it's yeah. on the outside yeah. too. So even though you have this really cool, great exterior, you don't have to baby this either. And sometimes on other cast irons, especially the enamel coated ones, they look great the first day they come out and then they get brown and gunky after the fact on yeah. the outside. Yeah. So you don't want to leave that on your stovetop and you certainly don't want to go stove to, to table with something like that. This one is nonstick inside and out. So your cleanup is easy. It looks good as new when you take it to your table from your oven, from your stovetop. So we've thought of everything. We want it to look great, but we want it to perform great as well. We've got the perfect sear, you got the lid. Now over here in the center, last hour we did a chicken salt and boca. We did it with a white wine, beautiful sauce. Here we're going a red wine and tomato sauce, but the point is the same. These are acidic ingredients. Old school cast iron. You cannot cook with wine and you cannot cook with tomato and you can't cook with lemon juice because acid and old school cast iron, they don't match, right? This nonstick coating, you can cook whatever you want. That's correct. You can cook with acidic tomato, wines, lemon juice, whatever you want. So don't worry about that. Now, all the way, it came up to a boil in basically real time because it so kept fast. its heat. Now I can knock down the heat a little bit. Now we've gone from searing hard and boiling 
two, brazing. Mm. Put that lid on there airtight right away. And I'm gonna knock down the heat. I could finish this in an oven. It's oven safe up to 500. So I could put on my other handle, take this hot cast iron, my hands are protected. I could finish braising this dish in an oven. I can also finish braising it stovetop because of that lid, yep. which is great, Love right? Love it. Now what are you making here? Now over here, last hour we did a egg shakshuka. We poached eggs in tomato sauce. Now I'm gonna do an Alfredo poached oh, egg, nice. right? Oh, nice, okay. So <laughs> poaching, braising, searing, it's all good. A Little bit of cream, some garlic is in here. Same technique, we're gonna crack our eggs right into the liquid. And you can poach in cream, you can poach in milk, you can poach, this is a very French recipe, by the way. Poaching in <laughs> cream with beautiful herbs like, like chives and tarragon is so nice. But if you want to do a shakshuka, again, recipes online that I've developed, this could be tomato sauce, acidic food, don't worry about it different spices, go crazy. But oftentimes people are worried about poaching eggs, especially if they have to do breakfast for two, three, four, five people. Yeah. This is four and a half quarts, three inches deep. So you could do, you know, I could fit eight, nine eggs in here, no worries. You know what else is cool about this too, guys? Um, use it instead of your pizza stone. That's or right. Or maybe you love, you always love the idea of making homemade pizzas. Let's say Friday night, you know, yeah. the kids are home from school and you're like, let's just make homemade pizzas. This will replace a pizza stone. But here's what's cool. Again, Chef, because of this cast iron, oh. it's gonna give you that perfect crust, the perfect edge, and it's all gonna be cooked evenly and get that nice brown crust on the bottom. You're not gonna have what you talked about earlier, yeah. those weird cold spots. So some of the crust is kind of doughy and some of the crust is too crisp or burnt it's going to make it really even all right once again if you want our pumpkin we're going to be saying goodbye to it so early today it's kind of bumming me out for everybody else but hey you're getting it right now we have about 20 200 left just got an update 2200 the vast majority of you are picking up the pumpkin and to me this just says fall and winter cooking and hearty stews and beautiful pot roast and wonderful you could make a brownie recipe in here you could do a, fr a giant frittata we were talking about yeah. deep dish apple pie for thanksgiving can you imagine taking this out in your pumpkin colored uh, um, uh, pot and sticking it on the table and then serving it a la mode with a yeah. melted vanilla ice cream on it i mean this is really something that makes it great presentation and also I just want to talk about the value we're going to show you a page that breaks down what we've done and this is incredible guys because customer pick after customer pick of our cast iron from Kitchen HQ. So here's your chance. The, the Just the cast iron nonstick itself is about $75. Normally, every other brand we have, you're gonna buy the silicone handles separately. They're not usually included. That's another $12 value. So you would spend $86 here at HSN, and I think that's fair, because there's traditional cast iron out there that yeah. you said goes for hundreds and hundreds Absolutely. of dollars. So here you are for one day only, and by the way, it ends at midnight tonight. We will not extend the today's special price beyond today. You're getting this for $34.99. I know the pumpkin is the number one, black is number two, and the red's number three. If you're thinking gift, how much fun would this be? Look. You're invited to somebody's house for Thanksgiving, and you walk in with dessert made in it, yep. and you say, by the way, keep the pan. Keep Have the pan. Fun. It's so much better than a bottle of wine. And every time they use it, they're gonna think about you. Now, this is our pot roast that I took from the oven to the table. Love those silicone handles oh, because no. it protects your hand. It also protects the hands of your guests. When this is living on your table Ooh. and people are serving themselves, they're not gonna burn themselves. But look at this. <sighs> You've got like three pounds of pot roast. Look at this pot roast. Think about your roast chicken, your pot roast, your veggies, your potatoes, all mm. in the same pan because it's four and a half quarts, three inch deep. Throw it in your oven and look. What this does what cast iron want. do in terms of cooking in the oven to the meat? Does it help break it down and just make it really nice and moist? It does two things. So this was a two-step process. One, I seared the beef perfectly because it gave me that even heat to get the sear. After I seared it, you put in liquid, beef stock, wine, your vegetables, and then that airtight lid that I talked about. That's what's really allowing you to braise and poach your meat and shred it perfectly. Imagine pulled pork when you're doing your pulled pork. Oh, geez. This is how you do it. Pulled so, pork sandwich for the football game? This oh, is the way to do it. You want to sear it, flip it, put the stock, put the wine, get that airtight lid. That silicone lip is going to keep everything, all that steam inside. When you finish cooking in your oven or stovetop, up to you, it's going to poach and braise it perfectly. That's how you get pull apart beef, pull apart pork, uh, pulled pork. So good. A perfect roast chicken. 
all of that is done because the cast iron is giving you that even consistent heat that steel, aluminum, all of those other materials can never give you. Let me ask you this question too. In fact, I'm gonna grab a little plate while we're at it because that pulled pork, is, or I'm sorry, you that recipe that is so Now you're thinking good. about pork. Oh, I'm uh, all about, you. yeah, I know, you switched my brain. <laughs> hey, but you know what I really, um, the, the thing about this chef is let's say you've got, you're serving maybe four people for Thanksgiving yep. and you don't necessarily want to do a giant turkey. You could literally do your entire Thanksgiving dinner inside here, couldn't you? I, and I love that idea. If you're a family of maybe you're an empty nester or it's just, you know, four of you and you want to do a smaller Thanksgiving dinner, Get a bone-in turkey breast, put some potatoes, put some veg, mm. and roast it all in there. Do a roast chicken dinner, a pot roast. It's a roasting pan, it's a brazier, it's for searing, it's for frying, because it's all so the much. same. We talked about it last hour. Cooking is all about time and temperature. Time and temperature. And in any other material, when you add a cold steak to a pan, the temperature drops. When you add chicken to frying oil, the temperature drops. Cast iron stays the same. The heat stays constant. And that's why old school cooks always love cast iron because it's about getting hot and staying hot. It keeps that consistent heat no matter what process you're doing. So this is what I love also because when we seared that steak and then added the stock, or if you're doing a focaccia, it's great for baking because it's getting consistent, right. even heat. Look at the even color on the pork chops, on the baking, on the chicken, the chicken thighs that didn't stick. It's so perfect in terms of heat retention and the fact that we made it non-stick is unbelievable. There's my roast chicken, look at this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, perfect <laughs> color. This is what I'm talking about. What are you making there? You got fruit. So you over there's a cobbler. I'm gonna show you a cobbler I did here because I love doing a cobbler. It's easy, you just make a fruit base, put a cobbler topping on top. All the recipes are on hsn.com, so check those out. But here's why I love non-stick as well. Fruity, sticky bottoms. Look at this, non-stick. I'm not worried about cleanup. So we talked about it last hour. That's if you're wild. worried about cleanup, you're not gonna end up reaching for the pan. So yeah. whether it's You'll sugar never use the pan. or teriyaki sauce or cheese, anything sticky that's hard to clean, super easy. Metal utensils, no problem. So using it is versatile, it's easy to use and nonstick, and you still get the traditional heat retention of cast iron. Yeah, so again, I said it's all the benefits, man. If you've, if you've, you at this room, do you remember your grandma or maybe mom having a cast iron? And yep. you were so excited to eat what they made in it because it just had this amazing, rich, deep, flavorful taste, right? Well, that Ooh. is the beauty of cooking the cast iron. There's a lot of benefits to it. The problem is it's a hassle, having to keep it seasoned. You can't scrub cast iron ever. That's such a no-no. It rusts. It rusts. Um, it's, there's just a lot of things that can go really wrong with cast iron and so you're like for me I was like I'm sorry to my husband I can't deal with it it's just too <laughs> it is every time I'd go to reach for the pan I would have grease and gunk and almost dirt all over my hands I would have to wash my hands before I cooked because I had so much stuff from the cast iron so I've always been really understood the benefits but hated it because of all the mess this solves all of that because it's completely non-stick on the inside the outside incredibly durable it will become an heirloom piece this is the one that actually gets passed down from generation to generation because it is cast iron now we've got all the modern conveniences the tempered glass lid that silicone rim around it to lock in yep. those flavors to help with that braising and stewing and cooking and roasting and then the silicone handles are included you're not having to buy these separately so really Really, we've taken everything you love. You've made all the cast iron customer picks because you love them and made it smarter and better tonight and then and did an incredible, incredible one day price. Mm -hmm. I do want to point out FlexSpace Chef, if you don't mind yeah, real sure. quick, this makes it easy. If you haven't made your credit card, you can get this home for $11.66 and you pay it off in three months, but you get it right away. Many of you are getting multiples. That's what a lot of the reviews said. They bought yep. one or yep. they said, I wish I would have bought more. So many people are gifting this tonight, which for 34 and some change makes an amazing, amazing gift for anybody who cooks, anybody who has a kitchen. They don't have to be a foodie. They certainly don't have to be a chef. <laughs> <laughs> if you just want to cook and cook better and cook easier and yep. cook smarter, then this makes a great gift for anybody who actually has a kitchen, even if they just have a, an infrared little portable unit, it's gonna work on that too. Oh, we didn't mention that too. Let's talk about the services it can work yeah, on. Yeah, and it's a great point. You can use it pretty much on anything. You can even throw it on your barbecue, use it as a pizza stone. But at home, if you've got induction, electric, gas, cast iron is great. It's all about just getting hot and keeping that even heat for poaching, searing, braising, roasting. Over here, I've got the Alfredo poached eggs. Mm. Can you imagine how good this would taste? 
I mean, I wish you could smell this right now. It's creamy, <laughs> it's garlicky, it's Parmigiani. And look, you could do nine eggs in here. This is four and a half quarts. The eggs are poached perfectly. Get some, get some toast and get up all that sauce. Like, Hello. How could you poach nine eggs at the same time? <laughs> that airtight lid is your friend. That's it's awesome. gently cooked all those eggs. And I'm begging you, finish them with fresh herbs. You'll have the best poached eggs ever. And as we head into holiday time also, you're gonna have a house full of in-laws. Let them be happy. Hey, I gotta read a couple of reviews on your other um, Kitchen HQ cast yeah. iron. Yes. So this is on the other ones. These are the ones that are online are completely different than our today's special. This person said, best pan I ever bought. Wish I would have ordered more. Now I have to tell you, there were multiple reviews. There's 277 on the 10 inch skillet right now, right? Mm -hmm. There were multiple yeah. reviews and everybody said, I wish I would have bought more. I wish I would have bought more. Remember, yep. it's a one day deal. Oh, you know what I didn't mention? This is our last cookware today, special for the rest of the year. Yep. Across all brands at HSN. We will not be offering another cookware today special for the entire holiday season. So if you are thinking maybe someone's moving to a new house, it's a housewarming gift, it's a birthday gift, you're gonna go to someone's house for Thanksgiving and you really wanna impress the heck out of them, don't take a bottle of wine. Make your recipe, maybe it's the potatoes or the green bean casserole you're making, and hand them the entire thing and say, oh, by the way, keep the pan. How much fun would that be versus just a dumb, dumb bottle of wine? They'd be yep. like, are you kidding me? And then when they start yep. using it, you know they're gonna call you up and say, you gave me the greatest Thanksgiving present ever. <laughs> and we said it last hour and it's totally true. When you gift something like that, every time someone reaches for it, yep. they think of you. You, yeah. What, what's a better gift than that? <laughs> right? You get credit over and over again. But right. gift it for yourself. That's what I always say. You sure. know what? Oh, there's my pork. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. Look at the sizzle. Look at the browning that you get. This is what, oh yes, yes, yes. This is what we want. Now, I'm gonna geek out on you. This is called the Maillard reaction. That caramelization, that browning, that even color. Now here's the thing, old school cast iron, I would never do what I'm about to do. I'm gonna do like a kind of pork and apple sauce here. All those apples are gonna caramelize. Old school cast iron, they're gonna stick. This one, it won't. We can get some bacon in here. Oh my gosh. Splash of stock, and look, even when I add the stock in, it stays hot. The temperature has not dropped. So we're still cooking the whole way through. I'm gonna put a splash of cream in here. These are fall flavors. Pork, apple, bacon. It's still sizzling, which I love to see. A Little bit of sage. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks so good, Chef. And it happened, look, <laughs> it happened in a minute. None of my temperature dropped. This is the magic of cast iron. It ain't just about searing. It's about when you're cooking, poaching, braising, roasting, frying, your temperature is staying hot. And like I said, cooking is time and temperature. You want your heat to stay the same. Steel, aluminum, when you add cold liquid or add a cold steak, your temperature drops. When you're frying, your temperature drops, not in cast iron. This is why grandma fried chicken in cast iron, made cornbread, roasted, baked, and seared. I mean, cast iron's been a part of the American lexicon of cooking since back in the chuck wagon days. You know what that's I mean? right. You really yeah, think yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it is the most iconic pan that's out there. Cast iron is absolutely iconic in the cookware world. But again, we've taken away all the hassles. Everything people do not like about cast iron, we've eliminated and solved in our today's special. It's cast iron 2.0. It's completely made over versus traditional old cast iron, but you get, as Chef mentioned, all the great benefits yep. of traditional cast iron, how it cooks, how it roasts, how it sears, how it fries. Yep. You could make a giant cookie in here, you could do uh, brownies in here. Yep. You could do a, fat a fattata, you could do a deep dish pizza. You could do a deep dish apple pie, which clearly oh, I which want I for love. Thanksgiving. So many things you can do. People say, oh, I never cook eggs in, um, in a cast iron. It just doesn't work very good. No, of course not, because it's not nonstick. It's kind of yep. gross. Um, but here, yeah, you can do an omelet in here if you wanted to. 100%. Uh, you could do hamburgers, bacon, if you there's just, If you can imagine, really think about this. Smash For burgers. For all the things, Ooh. smash burgers. You know what? I love smash love potatoes, that. too. Smash you have smash potatoes. potatoes. <gasps> In cast iron? In cast oh. iron. High five, the heat stays the same. Oh Do my your gosh. potatoes. You get that crusty edge on the, the smashed potatoes. Because oh. your temperature stays constant. <laughs> so, so whether good. you get in those smashed potatoes, I make something called fondant potatoes where I sear them hard, 
flip them, put some stock and butter, and the starch from the potato thickens the stock and butter into like a velvety <laughs> sauce. Put the lid and finish braising those potatoes. Stop it. Thanksgiving and holiday, if you serve those potatoes, you've made potatoes exciting again. Hello, okay. That's it. Oh, even if you do good old mashed potatoes, can you imagine Absolutely. the pile oh, of mashed potatoes this. you can make in this? All mm. right, so here we go, guys. My little pumpkin story. If you want the pumpkin brand new, we've never offered the color. Think of it kind of as a limited edition because we've never offered it before and who knows if we'll do it again. I am now under 2,000 left. We have exactly how many, Angela, left in the pumpkin? We have 1,900 left. That is it for the entire day. It is the number one bestseller. I just think it screams fall. I think it screams holiday. It screams winter cooking. Obviously, it's just cute anytime. But this is the number one best, most popular option at this point. With under 1,900, we um, repeat this show all night long for many, many hours. There's going to be very left by the morning. And I will guarantee you, Chef, there's going to be thousands and thousands of people who tune in later today yep. and will have no idea we actually had pumpkin. So again, if you're thinking the pumpkin, it's so cute. I think it's a fantastic, wonderful thank you gift if you're going to go away from someone's house for Thanksgiving or the weekend or what have you. Grab that pumpkin tonight before you go to sleep because it will not be here by the time you get back from work later <laughs> on today. It okay. won't. It just won't. <laughs> now check this out. We've got these kind of sage, apple, bacon, pork chops going nonstick. Even that little bit of brown sugar that I put in there. Look at the bottom of my pan. Completely nonstick. You've got those fall flavors. My chicken catch tour is going. Over here, I've got one of my favorite pastas, clams of Angole with white wine. Yes, you can cook with wine and tomato. Anything acidic you can cook because of our nonstick old school cast iron, you can't. These clams are gonna open up in a minute. Now okay. over here, We've talked searing, we've talked braising, we've talked about roasting a whole oven roaster, chicken roast. I mean, I love that pot roast. So unbelievable. Let's talk frying. Yeah. Why is cast iron great for frying? Because it's all about heat retention, gets hot, stays hot. Donuts, look, look at this. When you add your food mm. to the frying oil, look at my bubbles, Suzanne. Instant. They're instantaneously still bubbling away because it stays hot. There's a reason why you talked about it. Fried chicken in the old days was oh, always done in cast iron. Best. Because you got even temperature. Cooking is time and temperature, that's all it is. And if you're not cooking with cast iron, your temperature is fluctuating. Now your time's all messed up, now your results are not perfect. In the restaurant world, we always cook with cast iron, whether it's frying, roasting, braising, searing, poaching, because it's about time and temp. And my temp is even here. Now look, I've added six cold donuts. Imagine adding cold chicken or cold steak to a pan when you're searing. In any other material, your pan gets cold. But in cast iron, it gets hot and stays hot. Add the cold donuts to your frying oil and watch oh, them wait, bubble so, away. And the problem is when your frying oil loses and goes colder, yes. then the results are awful. Because guess what? The oil seeps into the inside of whatever you're cooking. And that's how you get greasy food. Greasy food, So if you've yeah. ever deep fried and got in a greasy result, it's because your oil temp dropped and now your food is drinking up that oil. Yeah. When frying, when searing, when roasting, you want your temperature to remain constant. This is why cast iron has been number one forever, but it's never been nonstick before now. We made it nonstick because we want cleanup to be easy. We want you to deglaze. We want you to cook with acidity. We want you to just cook freely. So in your, you know, if you're looking for cast iron, absolutely. Even if you're looking to upgrade your nonstick cookware, over time, sometimes our nonstick cookware loses its nonstick coating. You can do fried eggs in here, no problem. So use it just for your breakfast, your eggs, your, your you know, Making hamburgers. Whatever. Make a hamburger, make whatever. <laughs> but also use it for frying, roasting, poaching, braising a pot roast, going oven to table, and look well, at the even interesting color. thing you're talking about frying. Oh, by the way, those measuring cups, I don't know if those are around, guys. Only because if we can grab them real quick, the measuring cups, yeah, they're it's great. because you got all this oil, right? Yep. And a lot of people say, oh, what am I going to do? I haven't fried in a long time. Why? Because the cleanup is gross. You know, it's always nasty if you're trying to deal with oil. Yep. Well, here, because it's nonstick, it, the cleanup's going to be a breeze. You're not going to have oil just stuck to the walls of the pan. So now you go back and you make hush puppies. Exactly. You do the fried yep. catfish. Yep. You do the fried chicken. Yes. And because it can retain the heat, you won't have greasy chicken inside. That's what's always so gross when you try frying. Once that grease gets inside something, it just makes everything taste terrible. With this, you're not gonna have the issue because actually the grease stays on the outside exactly. because it fries at the perfect temperature. And that's the worst thing about frying is when your oil temp drops. And quite frankly, that's the worst thing about- Here, wait, we gotta do now this. You gotta 
throwing it in there. Hello. It's going to be hot. I know, I know. Uh, but I you're ready. It's really it's hot. hot. No, no, I was going to give it a second. I was give you the old when opening. I said it gets hot, it stays hot. I, I, I'm yeah, not kidding. Hot. That is hot. Let it cool it. for a second. Put a little glaze but, on there. I mean, there. it's still bubbling. <laughs> it's kept its heat. When you're frying in batches, by the way, if you're doing a couple batches of donuts or a couple batches of fried chicken, you don't want your oil temperature to drop as well. Look at my oil just kind of bubbling away here. Yeah. So I could now put in my chicken and it would still stay the same. I'm gonna grab a tongue real quick and do that. Sure. Your, your oil temp stays the same as you fry in batches. As someone who writes recipes professionally for a living, that's something we write and we say fry in batches so you don't overcrowd your pan. You don't want your temperature to drop. Look, look at, at that. that. Now Hello. look, that is oh, the sign you. of your temperature staying constant. Now I've gone from frying donuts, okay, cool. I'm now gonna fry some chicken. You wanna be able to see those bubbles. The worst thing is when you add cold food and the temperature drops. Whether you're searing, braising, frying, poaching, you want your temperature to be the same. And you notice through all these demos, as I add liquid, as I add cold food, it gets hot and stays really hot. Really That's what you want. I just wanna show you, cause Chef had a great tip last hour, Chef. You said when yeah. you're doing like bacon grease and you wanna keep it, yep. he puts it, these are silicones, so they can handle really high heat. He keeps his bacon grease inside here. Um, and we have a set of three, if you guys would like them, there's the information, they're on sale tonight. And they're super, super handy. But I thought that was a great tip. When you yeah. brought the oil out, I was like, well, let's save the oil. <laughs> and save the bacon grease, bake with it, bake in your cast iron. I love to bake in my cast iron, focaccia, sourdough breads. Yeah. It's great for baking because it keeps even heat. Oh, can, you, can I ask you, I always like, what is it oh. called? Monkey paws, monkey bread? Yeah, I monkey bread. In, it, monkey bread. Cinnamon it, rolls. Wait, do you know how ooey and gooey monkey bread is? If you're doing it right, it is one of the gooeyest things. Yeah. And you would have to soak a traditional pan for days to get exactly. all of that caramelization off the edge of the pan. It would be a hot mess. If you did monkey bread in these, not only could you do a huge batch and then you pull the pieces out to eat, but it's not gonna be a mess to clean up. And it won't Yay. be a mess, so let's talk monkey bread or cinnamon buns, which I have a cinnamon recipe buns. up on shsn.com. You want even baking, even temperature, even color. Cool, but you also want easy cleanup at the end of the day or you're not gonna reach for it. Sticky cinnamon buns, sticky cheese, tomato sauces. My cobbler here that I showed you, don't worry about the bottom. You just wipe it out and you're good to go. So non-stick isn't just about easy cleanup, it's also about deglazing, cooking with acid, and cooking with, you know, without a worry. Use your cast iron for cinnamon buns, for sticky, sugary things, and just wipe it out. Here, I've talked about sugar. I did my pork chops with a little bit of cream, thyme, sage, bacon, and a pinch of brown sugar. Look at the bottom. Nothing is sticking. Right. Whether it's sugar, cheese, sauce, whatever it may be. Over here, I put in some fennel, white wine. Yes, you can cook with wine. Butter. Butter. <laughs> and the clams opened up in real time because that lid took in all the steam. You finish this with pasta, boom, you're well, good to go. Plus that lid also retains that flavor. Oh my and the gosh. Rib, Just... By the way, the lid won't scratch your tableware either because of the silicone. Oh, so we thought of everything. Yeah, they really did. And you get the silicone handles, which are $12 right. by themselves. All right, so let me give you another official HSN pumpkin update. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a graphic that said pumpkin update. Uh, guys, we have 1,800 left for the entire day. That is it. This will not be available later today. I will guarantee it. I don't always say that, but we know, we know. You guys are loving the brand new pumpkin. If you want this, just don't go to sleep without ordering it. Like if you're watching it on replay, yeah, don't go back to sleep without ordering it because that is not gonna be here later on today. And that pumpkin color is awesome. There's the red, there's the uh, blue. Then we have the teal. There's that wonderful pumpkin. We have the rose and the two bottom ones are white and black. And I think those are awesome because they're just great for gift giving. You don't have to worry about what color someone's kitchen is or what have you. I think the white and black just make that really easy. And people love red too. It's always one of the most popular. What am I doing, Angela? I miss what you said. Oh, the spider cover. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk about we have black and red in the spider yeah. cover. It's a set of two. Set you of had some two. good ideas for those. It's a set of two. It folds, easy to store. It's not just a splatter cover. It's a trivet. So it unfolds into a perfect circle. Now that hot cast iron, if you want to take it oven to table, put that trivet on the bottom and boom, serve it up. You can mix and match your colors. I love a splatter guard also because the worst thing is grease and oil splatter on your clothes that really gets in there. Trust me, I'm the king of getting my clothes covered in splatter, so now I love those guards. <laughs> it saves me on my dry cleaning. I'll tell you that yeah, right now. Sometimes will. oil is really hard to get. 
So also <laughs> as a trivet, I love those. That's a great idea for the trivet. Also, yep. we've got the nylon brushes available, and we also have a three-in-one tool set that actually um, stores within themselves. So we've got a couple more options for you over there if you'd like to pick them up. All right, now guys, I want to talk about this coffee maker just really quick. Three great colors, black, we have the red, and we have the teal color. This is our lowest price we've ever offered. It's super clever because you can make an eight, a 10, or a 14 ounce single serve coffee maker. Why do we love it? If you live in a small space, great. Maybe you only do one cup of coffee on your way out in the morning, great. Maybe you wanna put this in a spare room. Maybe you have a little party area and you wanna put it there and people can have a cup of coffee on their own. Maybe you put it in your guest bedroom, they make their own coffee, or in your cubicle or in your office. And now you can have your own single serve coffee maker. Comes with a thermal cup to go with it, so that's definitely that kind of on the go experience. And it's on tail for $17.95, and we have three flex pays. So simple, quick, and easy. One other thing I want to show you from last hour. We were so busy for this. This is a magnetic, electronic can opener, and it does not make rough ridges. They're actually smooth. And instead of going inside the can and getting all the gunk on it, it actually circles the outside of the can automatically. You no twisting, no trying to hold on to it. You press the button and it just does it automatically. You lift it up and you have a safe can to work with. It's much cleaner, much simpler to use. We've got several colors in this actually. We have the rose, we have white, black. This is the teal color. And I know we have one more color, rose, white, black, red. We have red as well. These are on sale, wonderful stocking stuffer. I just think this would be awesome for anybody who's a kitchen because we're all opening cans all the time. Also, hey, don't forget, can we scroll up to the very top of the page? Is that possible? I keep going, can you keep going just a little bit more? There we go. I want you guys to see that because this is called H's and Gets Crafty with me, Suzanne. Uh, I have a show, I'll be back tonight at 8 p.m. We only do it on Facebook and YouTube Live and it is incredibly different than what we do on the air. But it's all about creativity. We have items that we never air that are available exclusively on my show. And that is our um, Facebook group page. Please help us to get to 10,000 Happy Crafting Cutie group members by joining. Hopefully we'll hit 10,000 before I get back here at eight o'clock tonight. More coming up with Kitchen HQ, including everything under $18. Cheers to 40 years. Cheers to 40 years, Bobby. I love you. Happy 40th anniversary, Bobby. We love you. Happy anniversary. Man, it goes by quick. Cheers to 40 years, Bobby Ray. Cheers to 40 years, Bobby. Cheers to 40 years and many more. Cheers to 40 years, Bobby. Congratulations. Here's to 40 more years. Love you. Tune in for Bobby's 40th anniversary special, September 16th from 5 to 8 p.m. I do it right, I'm hot as heat My start a fire like sugar, sugar, sugar Nothing sweeter than me Here I come It feels so good, so good to be me I, I, I'm a superstar whoa. Join these seasoned chefs for a candid discussion about their cooking experiences that you can only find on HSN+. So what's your earliest memory of cooking? As soon as you can stand in my house, you cook. It's got to be an egg, a fried egg. Watch now on HSN+. And I'm Suzanne Redney. This is called Kitchen HQ. What's really cool about this show, it's all designed for you by us. And we've taken all your comments, all the thoughts over the years. You've liked this, you wanted that, including our today's special, which is cast iron that's had a makeover, completely nonstick. Uh, just a quick update on the pumpkin. Once again, we have about 1,700 for the day. I've got several hundred of you on the line for our today's special. So I do ask your patience if you can, use our scan code with your phone. Then you can go right to the front of the line and get any of the items you
items you see tonight. This next item, Chef, if you don't mind, I want to kind of sure. read a review on it. Please. And this woman had a great review. She said, and this is a customer pick, yep. it's first time ever we've had it at $17.95, you get a set of two. But she said, and we have called What's Basics, and we have The Brights, okay? Yep. So she said she had arthritis, and I thought this was really meaningful, in both of her hands. And she wow. said, chopping was awful. She yep. said, I had almost totally stopped cooking. Now, how sad is that? And she said, until I got these little gems, yeah. this absolutely great. changed her life in the kitchen. If you've got dexterity issues or not, when you're talking about fresh parsley or garlic, look at this. No cutting board, no <laughs> knife amazing. skills, right? Nothing to plug in. This makes cooking, and this is what the whole brand is about. Making it easy, making it fun, you don't dread it. If a recipe calls for finely minced parsley or finely chopped 12 cloves of garlic, you're like, I don't wanna do that. This makes it easy, nothing to plug in, the right size, small, compact, and how many meals start with onions? Look at these onions, right? Finely minced onions. Now we're talking about in under 10 seconds, and I'm just easily pulling with one hand. I've got a couple onions in here to go with my parsley. Look at this, evenly diced onions. I've chopped my entire life. I could not perfectly dice onions in 10 seconds. And I they're just so couldn't. even. And they're all even. Why wow. do you want even? When you're cooking, you want everything to cook evenly. So there's your onions, there's your parsley. Think about doing quick jobs like garlic I talked about over here. One hand, look at all the garlic. That's like how many cloves of garlic in uh, there? Probably more than you need. Probably about 30. But, I just, now, but that said, what I like to do, instead of buying that kind of jar of minced garlic that actually has a preservative, I will buy already peeled garlic. I'll do this in my Kitchen HQ pull chopper and then take my minced garlic, look at this. That's amazing. And store it in my fridge in a container, in a resealable container. Look at how evenly minced. Garlic, herbs, onions, veg, whatever you want to chop without any knife skills, if you've got dexterity issues, without any cutting board to clean, nothing to plug in, this is amazing. Look at this. Look at how much, I, okay, seriously, Suzanne. The prep I've done in about 30 seconds total, the, the parsley, the onions, the garlic is unbelievable. And then you just take it apart, throw it in your dishwasher, off you go. Okay, so I gotta explain something. We yeah. have basic brights and jewels. Okay, so here are the basics, it's black, this is what you're getting. Yep. You're getting a set of two. So the basics, black and red, that's the basics. The bright is gonna be the pink and the purple in my hot little hand. Oh, sorry, 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 we're a little confused. It's not on my card, so it's all messed up. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait, let me go over here. All right, here we go. This is gonna there be easier, go. sorry, chef. No problem. Okay, so here are the basics, uh, black and red. Black and red are the basics. Then our pink and teal are gonna be the brights, and then this is the third one called the jewel tones, and it's purple and blue. So purple and blue, this is called the jewel tone, this is our brights, and this is our basic on the back. You're getting a set of two guys on sale for under $18. This is another one of those that I would get so many of them. And look, you know how you always need that little extra gift for the holidays? Yeah. Like you get them a nice present and they even get a little something else. How awesome. And again, just like our can opener, yep. everybody needs this. And I think, yep. Chef, let me ask you this, because sure. you, you've done this for a long time, obviously. I think when something is difficult or hard, we yep. avoid it naturally. 100%. Chopping yep. is an arduous process. Yep. And when it's easy, all of a sudden you'll be invigorated to try more things. Uh, absolutely, and this is about making cooking more fun, more approachable in the kitchen. Why do you reach for store-bought salsa? It's convenient. Yeah. But if you can take wow. onion, tomato, jalapeno, a little bit of herbs, and do it in 10 seconds, you're gonna do it fresh. And doing things fresh isn't just about saving on preservatives, saving money, it tastes better. It obviously will taste better. Yeah. So do quick salsas, do your herbs, your onions, your garlic. Don't shudder if you see a recipe and it says, finely mince this and finely mince that. You're not taking out a knife, you're not taking out a cutting board, you're not taking out anything to plug in. It's small enough that you could do pretty much anything. Now you're doing eggs here. Now we're doing, look, if you've got a quick egg salad that you like, <laughs> or leftover rotisserie chicken, which I know a lot of people say, what do I do with this leftover rotisserie chicken? Oh, yeah, do a chicken salad, do an egg salad, do a tuna salad, right? And you're not taking out a big food processor, and it was easy. You saw with one hand, I was pulling and made it easy. That's really, and how smart is this too? It's and great. again, it really does change the way you approach cooking. Yep. Because I think if it's a lot of fine, fine knife skills, and I don't have it for sure, and honestly, I don't have the patience for it. I need something sure. to go really fast if I want to get it done. Imagine a strawberry margarita. <laughs> 
or a strawberry daiquiri. I could a go for one of those right about now. I was going to say put some of these top strawberries on your waffles that we did last hour, but <laughs> if you're in the mood for a margarita, I'm into it too, a right? Whole different way. <laughs> Do your fruits. By the way, when we talk about like your waffle sundaes yep. or ice cream sundaes, all those toppings that you pay so much for at the ice cream store, do it in your pull chopper. Nuts. Nuts are one of the hardest things oh, to chop idea. because your nuts roll around on your cutting board and then it gets dangerous. Chop your nuts, put them on a salad. Chop your strawberries or your berries. This is the way to do it fast, safe, even results. Yeah. And like I said, if ever you've had anything kind of roll around on your cutting board, no more. No cutting board, no knife, no food processor, nothing to plug in. And one hand, you're good. That's, it's really, I mean, I can see why this is a customer pick. Yeah. It's, it's really fun, too, because actually, um, in about a, a little more than a month and a half, maybe, we're going to do um, a, a special host gifting collection. And this was my choice coming up in that show. Yeah. We will have a special deal. Not sure it's going to be tonight's deal, but we will have it. And that's why I chose it, because I know it's always been successful. Customers love it. And it seems, in one regard, a little silly, because yeah. you're just pulling a string. Sure. But the fact that it's so brilliant how it works then you understand it when you get it at home like that's really is smart and i wanted to show something like radishes because radishes are really hard yeah. right yeah i filled it up with radishes and effortlessly with one hand it is kind of fun to you're do you're not right? even sweating i'm not even sweating <laughs> 10 seconds and i've got all these radishes done to top with a salad to do this by knife like i said jeez I mean, it just, take just me forever. look at how even it is also, right? Honestly, if you need that many radishes or anything, I would never do that recipe, ever, ever, Exactly. Ever. Because exactly. I could never, I do not have the patience to chop like that. And there's the secret. So you've got the three stainless steel blades, take it out, throw it in your dishwasher so you're not getting your fingers in the way. Is this dishwasher All safe? of that's dishwasher safe. Is this part? Rinse this off and okay. you're good to go. So easy cleanup. And again, the whole brand is designed to make you want to cook, to make you feel empowered in the kitchen. I want you to read one of our recipes on hsn.com and not shudder if it says mince two onions and garlic and parsley. You can do it. And you could do it in the same pool chopper. Start with the onion, boom, 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 there I am. Do the garlic, then the herbs. It's easy, it's fast. Then take it out, just give it a rinse, put it in the dishwasher and off you go. So herbs, onions, nuts, even radishes for salads. Things that are real. Oh, there's that, the nuts. There's some hazel, uh, some walnuts. Were you making coleslaw though? You could do was coleslaw. Yes, cabbage, you could put right? cabbage in there. Huh. There's a quick egg salad. So little things like that. Again, you're not rolling around on a cutting board. Your fingers are nowhere in the way, and you're not lugging out something that's heavy and you got to plug in. Well, it's and easy. how many times you guys got a big old food processor? I had a food processor yeah. once that came with so many parts, I gave up on it quick. Exactly. Like I donated it almost instantly. I couldn't remember what had to hook onto what to go to where, and it was bulky and yep. big. And even literally, even pulling it out from underneath the cabinet was a pain in the you know what because exactly. it had so many parts to it. And then you don't use it. No, of course not. Of yeah. course I gave it away. I mean, it was just a waste of space and a waste of money. This is really quick and easy and convenient and whether you're a big foodie and you cook all the yep. time or you're just making an egg salad because you love yep. it you know even if you buy pre-hard-boiled eggs exactly you can look like a chef because you get the egg salad and get it all knocked out leftover quick. rotisserie chicken you're making your chicken salad tuna salad etc the only issue I always have when I have this product is I go too fast. That's the only problem. Because look at this. You've we done the parsley, no the onions, the garlic. <laughs> I wanted to show even a hard radish is no issue. And I want you to show this. Just look at this, guys, if you can really show. It's not like there's small and big chunks. Right. Everything is even. The herbs are even. The onions, the garlic, the radishes. Everything is done evenly and fast. I did each of these in under 10 seconds without taking out a knife, without taking out a cutting board, without having anything rolling around. This is great if you don't want to lug out a heavy food processor. And like you read on that review, if you've got dexterity issues, this is for you. It's super fast, super easy. Take it out. You've got the three stainless steel blades, and then you throw it in a dishwasher, and off you go. All right, simple choices too, guys. You're getting, everybody gets a set of two. This is so funny. You and I both have sticky notes on our feet. We are walking <laughs> around, both of us, with sticky notes. Um, all right, the first choice is going to be the black and the red. That's the basic. This is going to be your brights, which is the pink and the teal. And then your jewel tones is going to be the purple with the um, blue. So jewel tone here. This is your brights. This is your basic. Just how easy is this? And it doesn't take up much room. I forgot to say that. When you were talking yeah. about a big old food sure. processor, it just takes up so much room. Yep. Look at these guys. I mean, and, wh and what's the capacity? 
Uh, I, it's about two cups. About two so cups. So it's a great so size. Perfect. It's yeah, a wonderful it's size. And by the way, you don't have to go this fine either. If you need something a little yep. chunkier, like you're doing a recipe that has chunkier tomatoes, fresh tomatoes in it, you're just going to not pull as many times. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's easy. really easy. Yeah. All right, guys, stay there. Again, I think this is that great extra gift to say thank you to a neighbor who maybe has helped you out over the year and you want to give them a little simple holiday gift but not break the bank. It's perfect for that. And again, both of these will come boxed too, don't they? Do you get two exactly. separate boxes? You can gift it and go. Oh, they come in great boxes. Yay. I'm telling you. It's ready. Look, keep one, gift the other. It's ready to be gifted. You put a bow on it, it's called Bow and Go, Suzanne. I love Bow, bow and, and go. go. You know that. <laughs> All right, guys, I just want to give you a quick reminder of our best value today. It is cast iron. That's so, so it's like cast iron 2.0. Uh, now it's nonstick, both the interior and exterior. Gives you all the benefits of cooking uh, with cast iron, that heat retention, just the results are amazing. It's going to be one of the most versatile used pans you'll ever have in your uh, in your kitchen. Uh, but remember, it is a today special for today only at this great, great price. This is called the pumpkin. It is brand new. If you didn't see it, you'll see another airing next hour. It is the most limit or the most popular by far. And we're down to about 1500 for the rest of the day. We started close to 4000 of the pumpkin when we launched it two hours ago. So if you are thinking about getting the pumpkin color, this is your moment to do it. I will guarantee you it will not make it till the end of today. All right. Next item up is another one of those really fun ones. And please think about gift giving when yep. you're watching the show tonight. For sure, on the last item and the next item we're going to get to. But before we do that, if you are collecting a lot of kitchen goodies, you got to have them organized. And we highly recommend origami. We have a lot of great choices and pieces that are on sale right now. So check it out on hsn.com. All right, so here we go. Another item, not under just $20, but under $18 with three flex pays is this next one. And it's an egg bite baker yep. and it is a Check sandwich maker all built into one i love this idea so forget about the sandwiches which we're going to get to because it's a great little panini press just for the egg bites you know the kind of egg bites that you get at the drive through right yeah because they're fast they're convenient little pops of protein you could do these at home so check this out with kitchen hq perfect little molds to give you that exact shape that you would get at the drive through and inside little scrambled eggs I've got here some scallions, some cheese. You could just go straight up egg and salt and pepper if you like, right? Fill it up and then put a splash of water on the side. Yep. How cool is Boom. this? Boom. And you're going to close it up. Now, the egg bites that you get at the drive-thru are really light, really fluffy. They are kind of addictive, but they're expensive. Yes. They're really expensive. So I think two is like six, seven dollars. Like, forget about that. Do it at home. Fridge dump. Get it into your scrambled eggs, whatever cheese you like, salt, pepper, and then boom. Couple minutes in real time, you're gonna see you got those egg bites. And what I like to do, I'll even do a few the night before so that when I'm in a rush in the morning, zap them in the microwave, off you go in the car, you're not going to the drive-through over and over and over again. Yes, and this is the way to do it. And again, like so many other items that we've done tonight, recipes that I got to develop are up on hsn.com with mm -hmm. pictures. But really, it's really easy. You're just scrambling eggs and putting them in. A little water. While you were doing that, I thought, can you imagine little sausage egg bites? Oh, that'd be Absolutely. so Absolutely. <laughs> right? Absolutely. But then we talked about a little panini press situation. So, you know, you get a little basil pesto on a piece of bread. Look, you could just do a straight up grilled cheese. Or you could go a little caprese, a little tomato, mm. little cheese. Get the bread on. And here's what I love about it. Without mm. those egg molds... Now it's your panini press. So you kind of press it down. Now that seal there is keeping it <laughs> compressed. So now it's like a panini press. Now because of that seal, you get the bottom and the top, both heat elements, perfect grilled cheese in two minutes. <coughs> this is gonna take about two minutes. And in real time, you've got a little miniature panini press. Look at the color. Can you guys hear this? It's brilliant. Crispy, crunchy, that's what we want. You know what's great about this too? I love is it. Let's say if you get older kids, now I wouldn't do little teeny kids because it is hot, but let's say you got teenagers coming home after school yeah. and they're like, mom, I'm hungry. <laughs> you know, go make yourself a ham and cheese grilled sandwich. Yeah. And they can do it. I yes. mean, again, not little kids, you know, we don't want to burn themselves, but this is so easy. Also, I love it too. If you just want something really quick, like for example, maybe you just want to make, instead of going yep. through the drive-thru, make your own egg, egg and cheese easy. sandwich. A lot less Absolutely. expensive, so quick and fast. I just love something you can just make one and go. 
And you know what? I mean, look, everything is expensive these days in terms of eating out. Sure so is. don't buy a grilled cheese. Don't buy egg bites at the restaurant. Do it at home. And by the way, that version I just did, I didn't put any extra fat. And you're going to see, because it's heat from both sides, it's a great panini press. You're going to get huh. golden brown melted cheese, great grilled cheese without the extra butter or mayonnaise or whatever. But so, if you wanted to put butter on But if you wanted on. to, of course. I mean, well, it's not gonna, be pretty good. You get extra color. It's all good. <laughs> so get creative with your paninis, but also get creative with your egg bites. So over here, I did the eggs. I did the cheese. You can get any leftover veg. If you've got half a bell pepper, chop it up, throw it in there. One of my wife's favorite is an egg white bite. So she wants to keep it well, lean. Even healthier. Even yeah. healthier, mm -hmm. no problem. I love to do it with egg whites, a little bit of spinach, a little bit of feta, some <gasps> oregano. Feta and a, oh my gosh. Look at this. And now we're talking about big flavor without any of the fat. So right. I love these egg white bites. Sometimes if I have leftover uh, frozen spinach, I'll even put it in here. And in the time it takes to steam the eggs with that feta, and you know, sometimes I'll put sun dried okay. tomatoes so I was in, say, here. in there. Tomatoes in there sun dried too, right? tomatoes are great, Ooh. right? This is a great fridge dump option, like I said. A little yeah, bit of water, great. and that water is gonna help it steam while it cooks. Close it up. Leftover turkey, Done. a little bit of eggs, so you get some protein in there. Yep. Extra protein. Absolutely. Maybe you got leftover chicken. You could think of all the little bites you could and, make. And this is the thing. Why do people like the drive through egg bites? Because they're quick bites of protein and they're convenient. And they're do a healthier home. choice. And they're a healthier choice if you're watching your carbs, yes. if you just want the protein. That's why we gravitate towards those things in the drive through Right. Do it at home. No preservatives. Don't spend the $6 for two. Do them the night before even to save your time in the morning. But oh. really, in real time, it takes like four or five minutes. Now, you can peek and look. You see the steam already, and they're kind of rising up like little souffles. Those are going to take about five minutes in real time. Okay. Great. Um, here's what I was thinking, too. If you've got anybody Look who's in college, my gosh, college students, you know, they're in a Absolutely. hurry. Absolutely. This is so perfect because it doesn't take up a big amount of space. Oh, that is That fantastic. was done in about two minutes. <gasps> and that's so, no extra butter, was it? And that's, that's no extra butter on the outside. And uh -huh. look, crispy, golden brown everywhere. On the inside, you got that tomato, you got the caprese flavors. It's great for a panini press. It's great for the egg bites and a super versatile. Hey guys, just want to give you an update. If you're on the line for the choppers, be patient. If you can, just use your phone, turn on the camera, yep. walk up to the screen, point it at that scan code. It'll turn either a yellow box or give you a link that takes you right to any of the items that we're shopping for and that gets you to the front of the line because I apologize. Between the Today Special in the pumpkin yep. and the choppers, we are extremely busy. Think about who needs this. It's somebody who lives by themselves. It's somebody who cooks for maybe one or two people. It's somebody in a dorm, somebody yep. in a small space, an apartment, RV. How fun would RV this be would for be an RV? Yep. So how many of you just have people coming and going all day? You ever feel like when Mike Ethan was in football and Oof. did all that stuff? Oh, that's... Oh, no. There's the grilled cheese oh, with no extra fat. That just makes you that. happy. Look at Gr the grilled Can you cheese. imagine grilled cheese and tomato soup mm. in the winter mm. on a winter's day? But for you, if you live by Look yourself and you're like, man, I just want a panini. Who doesn't yep. love a panini? Yeah. Can you imagine? Okay, a true, like, um, I love, um, what are they? Not... Yeah, they're cu uh, cubanas. Yeah, a ciabatta. Called? Get a, a ciabatta. ciabatta. They, yeah. Get oh. a little ciabatta bread. Thank you. Put some salami in there, some prosciutto, some cheese. Boom. We did Shh. these paninis in two minutes with no butter, no oil, and look at. They look so good. Crispy, melty. By the way, look, that's non-stick, so I can take off that melted cheese. So you just wipe it out, right? Just wipe it out. There's the melted cheese that I just took out. So if you've got some egg residue, wipe it out, easy to clean. And egg the egg bites. bites, those are silicone. So those, those are clean silicone. up real easy. Super easy. Non-stick, yeah. rinse, or put them in your dishwasher, absolutely. Sometimes, Suzanne, if you want a single piece of French toast, do a quick French toast. Close it up, oh, that's off a great you go. Idea. Also with those silicone molds, I've done little miniature cake bites. Oh, I saw cake you can pops. Do the cake pops. The, they online, I saw a picture of the cake well, pops. That was great. They were so cute, you guys. So with a little, the little we're egg using bites. the exact same silicone molds. You do cake little bites. cake pops. I've done little pancake pops. So you're taking pancake batter, letting them steam. Stop it, can you Absolutely, imagine? Right? So get creative with How it, and it's easy that? to clean. Tons of those recipes are up on hsn.com with pictures, yeah, which, that's I mean, that's really great. You get that's it nice at home and you, you know how to too. use it. He's a busy guy, too. That's very nice of him to do that. I'm cooking and a lot And all you do is when you get to the Ooh. item, look and he'll have mm. a link that takes you to all the recipes with the pictures. Yeah. So if, you're, if you want to get really inspired, you know, this is another one of those items that people get at home and they think of the crazy stuff to do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, will it work? Yes. And they'll try it in here. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, like I said earlier, it's Ooh, a great... that's nice. You could do a little pie in here. Little, you know, cute if we're that? talking about entertaining come holiday time, yeah. you're right. Little handheld oh, yeah, bites of stuff. Yeah, awesome. be awesome. You wait a minute. Could you make little baby hamburgers? 
You could. How fun you could. would that now, be? Now, this is what I say about entertaining. There's only so many things you could put on a cracker, right? <laughs> so if ever you've Good entertained point. and you're yeah. like, okay, I'm putting this on a cracker, I'm putting that on a cracker, this is a great way also to come up with the little ideas like that where you have something new, something different. So yes, it's great, great for egg bites. It's great for a grilled cheese. We've done these paninis in about two minutes flat with no extra fat. I've got the egg white egg bites happening over here with feta, sun-dried tomato, oh, so spinach, good. oregano, or you can go full fat with the eggs and look at this. This was about five or six minutes. Woo! Oh, look and how look. awesome those are. They're fluffy, almost like little souffles, right? That's so Isn't cool. That what I you want? love this. And this is what I love because Again, if two egg bites at the drive-thru are five, six, seven bucks, yeah. come on. Yeah. Like it's a couple eggs, some cheese and salt and pepper. We can do this at home. Silicone, look, look at this. <laughs> Aren't those cute? They're as cute as can be. Do this at home, They're right? so cute, I love this idea. <laughs> I might eat one right now, actually. I'm a little bit hungry. There they come out. This goes into oh, your dishwasher perfect. or rinse it out. It's and then, perfect. like I said, you could do it the morning of or even do it the night before and off you go. Yeah, just pre-make them and then pre heat them up them. and go in the car. If you're the type who eats in the car and you go through the drive-thru every day spending a fortune, I don't know how people are doing it, by the way. I just it's went to the lot. groceries and almost threw up. But if you're going through the drive-thru every day, you're spending a ton of money, just make it at home ahead of time yep. and then pop them in the microwave, put them in a little baggie and in the car you go. Think how much money you'll save. And you're still go here's why we go through a drive-thru convenience but typically there's not healthy choices that's why the egg bites have become so popular yeah. because now instead of doing something that's really bready or a glazed donut or something like it yeah. we're able to eat something at a, at a drive-thru that's relatively healthy for you now it's just to save a ton of money and look, look how that. good they are Ooh, perfect I shape too. i mean i want one of a little these little salt right? on but there but here's Come another on. thing by the way you notice two things one you can pop it open and peek like I said with the waffle maker. Can I pop this one open? Pop it open. If, if it needs another minute or yeah, two, few no more minutes. worries, right? Just yeah. take a peek, close it. There's no settings here. There's no high, low, you don't have to fiddle with the temperature. Turn it on, let it do its thing, take a peek, let it keep cooking. It's as easy as that. And pretty soon, once you do a couple of them, you'll know how many minutes it's going to take. I mean, you got I mean, the groove you, of it. You know, yeah. once, it depends how much you put in there, how many fillings you put in there. It's going to be between four and six minutes. That's not great. Not a big deal, right? It's awesome. And you're not fiddling with any temperatures. Okay. It's great. So we're going to have some egg bites because it's uh, almost 2 a.m. here in the I morning. So, so it's morning. We're going to have some breakfast. What the heck? Um, chef, thank you so much. Good what to see you. What an awesome two hours. <laughs> He'll be here throughout the entire day. Up next, you'll see a repeat of our today's special. Please don't forget about the infamous pumpkin. Yes. It will not be here on our cast iron beautiful pan. All right, Chef, thanks so much again. I'm saving again. you a pumpkin. Are you going to I'm officially pumpkin? saving you a pumpkin. Yay, I'm so happy about it. Coming up next, another look at our very, very popular today's special.